Welcome back to my to more, Problem Awakening. Last time we left off, we finished Donald's Paralogue, and so let's take a look at our group so far. We have a sizable group of great warriors and random slackers, and we'll be continuing with this party, but first, I think right now is a good time to do something that is somewhat infamous, but somewhat loved in this specific game. Reclassing. So the one thing about this game in particular is the fact that you can reclass your characters. Now, the thing about that is they have to be at least level 10 and they're all in the first class they already have, unless they're an advanced class like Frederick who can reclass whenever the hell he wants to. Now, I typically reclass Frederick mainly so he can still be useful in later levels because his stat growth is pretty terrible because he's already an advanced class. So by lessening him to a normal class, he can become a better fighter and he gets better advantages. And in particular, I like turning him into a Wyvern Rider. <clears throat> As you see, his stats have gone down quite a bit. He really has gotten a new skill and strength too, which increases strength by two. Now, I need to buy him a new weapon, because he does not have any skill in axes and has no axe. I carry only the finest. On that note, I'm going to buy some more magic tomes for Robin and Meryl. Or Dark and Meryl. Thunder tomes are the strongest level of tome. So I'm going to buy them that. And so, with all our prep done, let's go to our group yet again. I have one more reclassing item I'm going to save for Donald. But I have to raise his level to level 2 first. I mean level 10 first. Unfortunately, I cannot just immediately get in there and reclass the guy. I have to get yeah, basically every unit. Basically, it has to be at least level 10 for reclassing and advanced classing. Which is a kind of a annoying setback that they kind of remove from the next game and the fates in order to more balance out because reclassing can be kind of broken. So they do a lot of things in this game. <laughs> yeah, right, let's begin. Forgive me. Prince Khan, please right here while I summon the Khan. Good. Of course. <sighs> the Khan, the Khan is away. Right. Our trade, our out trading at wager. The Khan of Feroz prefer battle to politics, or rather, battle is their politics. A warrior ruler, eh? I can picture him now. A giant man of unparalleled through his broad chest covered in hair. <laughs> Am I now? Please do go on. <laughs> what? That's why you should not talk about people until you see them, people. <clears throat> You're the, uh, this is say, the Khan, I presume. Exactly. One of them, yes. The East Cod. My name is Flav Flavia. I apologize for the troubles at the border, Prince Krom. You are welcome to Regna Ferox. Thank you. But I'm confident we can put that misunderstanding behind us. It is true Bandit's hosting as Ulysses have been ransacking your border is it true that that Bandit's hosting as Ulysses have been ransacking your border villages? Right. Yes, those Pelagian dogs. We found documents proving as much on the corpse of one of their captains. Pelagia must see some must see some benefit in raising tension between your kingdom and ours. <clears throat> Damn them. I forget I forgive me your grace, that was indelicately put. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> damn them and damn delicacy. Here in Fox we appreciate plain speech. In that case, you should have a word with your damn border guards. Please. <clears throat> now that's 
Ferocity diplomacy. Yes, I like you already. I know why you've come, why you have come, Prince. But regrettably, I cannot aid any. I cannot provide any Ferocity troops for Elise. Huh? What? Why not? I lack the authority. What? Forgive me. I don't understand. Aren't you the Khan? Listen. As I said, I am one of the Khans. In Ferox, the Khans of East and West hold tournament every few years. A victory requires total sovereignty over both kingdoms. And that means they have the final say when it comes to forging alliances. The West Khan won the last tournament, you see, and so... So, we are to receive no aid at all. No. Not if you always give up so easily. The next tournament is nigh, you see, and I am in need of champions. Hmm? What does that have to do with us? Listen. The captain of my border guard informs me your shepherds are quite capable. Perhaps you would consider representing the East in the upcoming tournament? If you win and I become Rolling Khan, I will grant your alliance. Really? I would have I would have assured Ulysses had no place. I, I, I would have assumed Ulysses had no place in such proxy traditions. <laughs> On the contrary, the cost themselves do not fight. They choose champions to represent them. Otherwise, our land will be rife with blood feuds and dead cons. We don't involve comrades or kin for, this, for the same reason. Over time, most decided the tournament should be fought out by outsiders. Although the outsiders have never included foreign royalty, that I know of. Regardless, it is your choice to make. Right. There's no choice, he's calling. My people are desperate. We faced not only Pelagius, Costa, and Tax, but the now, the now at a threat of the Risen. If fighting for you is the quickest way to an alliance, then we will take up our steel. Right. Haha. <laughs> oh, I like you, Prince Crom. I do hope you survive the tournament. Come, come. I'll show you the arena where the tournament is being held. But, but be wary. I hear an equally able swordsman champions. I hear an equally able swordsman champions the West Con. It's all right. He shall be defeated by you by Ulysses' necessity. <laughs> well spoken again. I look forward to seeing if you if you're equally skilled with the blade. So this is a pretty smaller map, so we can only select the number so select the number of units. So for this. Very insulin to choose a Merle because magic. And I'll help you come on. I would put Sumia on here, but let me check on the level of archers. No, there are no archers. So Sumia, you can be used on this map. Let's check inventory. I like to check inventory before we match to make sure I have enough weapons. It's nothing more embarrassing than having than not having a weapon during the middle of a fight. Prom. Look, hmm. I see him. Hey. One question before we begin. <laughs> Fine then. Our source will speak for us. Where'd you get that? There's no way. Tell me, who taught you to fight like that? Mentioned how much I love those animated cutscenes. Oh, now we're getting a proper introduction to the enemy view. Mark is a magnificent swordsman, and look, and his men look capable as well. We should mind our distance. So now we're getting a proper introduction to danger areas. Despite the fact that I've been using them throughout this whole playthrough so far. Let's go. So 
but I took this risk. For the crit! Storm today! Thank you, Aura Jesus! Fellow Bob will see, nice. Are you ready? Hold on. Now you focus on experience. I don't want Sumi to level up quickly because I do like using her. We got Thunder, which isn't helpful to you for now. I got 14 more experience on Meryl. Gotta put you in harm's way for a bit. Make you more piece of targets than Nero. I mean, uh, if I have got to stop using Dark so much, he is too strong. So apparently, she was still a survival target. May the best soldier win. Are you ready? <clears throat> Finish Frederick to collect the spark, please. Another towering bow. Fighting game to chip away at you. 
Hey. Who is your father? My apologies. I've said enough for one day, sir. <laughs> is that how it is? Lissa owes her life, and for that, you have my gratitude. But without these, well, within these walls that represent the East Con and the interests of Yelis. I cannot promise to stay by blade, but I vow not to shame you. <sighs> I never expected such youthful arrogance. We shall see who shames who. Ready? Bro won't survive this. One hit. It's such a wounded state. I must. Oh, I will only hinder my comrades. All the dictates I withdraw. One v one me. Impressive, if not surprising. Very nice. Well, fuck. You have my respect, and perhaps more to the point, you have your alliance. I will provide Elise with the soldier she needs. <laughs> Truly, thank you, Iskand. I should thank you. I feel like I feel like ages since I've held full power. Come, my friend, my new friends. Tonight we celebrate. Oh, great! Bah, uh, any excuse for a party, and Flava jumps on it. Hmm? I'm sorry, have we met? Yes. I'm the West Con, you so rudely removed from power. You're handy with a sword, boy. I thought for sure I'd pick the stronger man. Listen. What do you want to what what do you know about him? Hmm. What do you mean? You mean that Mark? Bah, he's just some cell sword delusions of grandeur. All I know is that he turned up one eve and knocked the, and knocked my old champion flat. I always love at first sight, and I'm generally too old for such things. <laughs> Anyway, he's gone now, up and fled the moment the tournament ended. Oh. He's so dark and mysterious. Huh? Sounds like Marv's got at least one fan. <sighs> I mean, come on, he is sort of dreamy, isn't he? Hey. And you're sort of dreaming. <laughs> Lighten up, big brother, I was just kidding. Shall we then? My lord, my lady, if this fascinating discussion is over, we best return home. The Exalt will want this news of our new alliance immediately. Yes. Right as always, Frederick. Hey. Hold, boy, before you go, I have a little present for you. This is Long Ku, my former champion. Not much for talking, mind you, but he's peerless with a sword. As good as Mark in my mind. To be honest, I can't figure out how Mark bested him so quickly. What? Mark beat him, but he looks so big and strong. Get back. Away, woman. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> he just says that. He just says that ladies tend to put. He just says that ladies tends to put Long Ku on edge. Nevertheless, he is capable, perhaps even has the markings of a con. Consider him West Ferox's contribution to the Elysian cause. Hmm? You're certain about this? All right. Yes, yes, he is your man now. Listen, to and Long Ku, you have no objections? Right. He gives orders, I stab people. I think our rules are clear. Alright then, welcome aboard. I like your I like the cut of your gib, Longcoop. 